Suturing is the joining of tissues with needle and thread so that the tissues bind together and heal. The thread is actually specialized suture material. In this first video, you will be introduced to the instruments typically used to suture a wound and how to use these instruments correctly. For basic suturing methods, you need two instruments, a forceps and a needle holder, and of course, a pair of scissors, although it is not shown in the video. This is how you hold forceps, as you would a pen or chopsticks. Not like this. You do not want to hold them inside your palm. Let's look now at how to correctly hold the needle holder. Place your thumb and the ring finger in the holes of the needle driver as shown. Use your middle finger and index finger to stabilize the driver. Do not hold the needle driver like this with your thumb and the index finger in the holes. Further, even when you have the right fingers in position, pay attention that you keep the needle holder close to the tips of your fingers. Do not push the needle driver close to your palms. And now we see the right position for both hands. Finally, scissors are held exactly as you would hold the needle holders. Place a needle close to the tip of the needle holder as shown in the video. Do not place a needle too deep in the holder as indicated now. This will make it very difficult to insert the needle into the skin. The needle has to be perpendicular in both planes to the needle holder. Do not place the needle so that it makes an angle facing forwards or backwards to the holder. Do not place a needle tilted forwards or backwards either. Practice so you always place the needle perpendicular to the long axis of the holder. Also, pay attention to the position of the needle along its curvature. The needle driver should be placed one half to two thirds of the length of the needle from its tip. This now concludes the first instructional video on suturing of human wounds.